What's up everybody, Joe here again with another video. This is going to be an unboxing, installation and review of the Best Power Summit EF Intel water block. This is a black acrylic type version. And take a look around the box. You can pause if you want. Keep in mind this is just the Intel version, so no AMD uh, brackets included in this kit. Okay, let's go ahead with uh, unboxing it. So after unboxing it, all you have is this little box in here which houses all this stuff which is uh, instructions, hardware, uh, your tools and a little more hardware, thermal paste and an o-ring. You get that allen wrench. Okay, let's move on to the CPU block itself. For that we have a mounting bracket which you can use with uh, socket 1155, 56, 775, 1366 and LJ2011. Now we have the water block. It's not quite as restrictive as uh, other brands, other high-end brands. As you can see the cross channels are pretty spaced apart. But I'm going to see how it performs. This is the black ice version. It's a tinted acrylic top. And you can see how shiny it is in the back. Uh, make sure you take off the sticker before you install it. And as you can see, there's uh, three millimeter holes on the left and right side. I drilled them out myself because uh, the only ones that have the three millimeter holes are the clear versions. So any other color, uh, color top, you don't have uh, three millimeter holes. Uh, it's not so bad. Um, all you gotta do is uh, grab like a uh, three millimeter drill bit and go in about an eighth of an inch and it should be fine so you won't get any leaks so this is the LEDs that I'm using it's by ModSmart and I've also sleeved it with ModSmart sleeving there are blue LEDs and I hope they'll look pretty nice with the water block on them. I'll be doing an off-camera installation and show you the end product afterwards so I'll be back in a bit so here it is all filled and installed with the DIY lights on there. If you ask me, it looks pretty amazing. Not bad for a little DIY for screwing some holes in there. And it's bleeding at the moment. So you can see all the air. Yeah, so uh, we'll probably uh, get it booted up as soon as it's done bleeding. Let's see what the temps are compared to the Swift Egg uh, Apogee HD that I had on earlier. Yeah, the whole system is running on its own, all lit up. And here in the BIOS, it's reading 30 Celsius. And give me a few to get in the operating system so I can stress test it. Okay, we're in the operating system and we're already stress testing this. And looking at temps, as you can see, 75 is the hottest core on core 3. And that's uh, 10, about 10 minutes into uh, ADA 64. Uh, just for consistency, as you can see, the these are the ambient temps right now. 31.2 focus. But I have the temp sensor outside the case, poking outside the case to read my ambient temps, and it's pretty warm in the house. So this is not too bad. I don't have air conditioning, and it's summertime in Hawaii, so it gets pretty warm. Alright, and uh, with the Swift Tech, uh, it was t uh, temps were taken during winter time here. It's not really winter time, but it's more likely a cooler season. And it read the same amount of uh, degrees of Celsius at a colder climate. So, I mean, you guys could say, you know, oh yeah, my uh, model block is better than this and that. Uh, you guys, most most of you guys are probably up north of the equator and yeah it's way cooler up where you are but where I'm at it's pretty warm but that's this is not too bad and I'm at 4.7 gigahertz and 1.336 32 volts just fluctuates very uh, steady 100% Okay, uh, let's 
see my averages not just counting the highest temps so you can see with the cores 57.9, 59, 64 and 60 are my averages and you can see my minimums and maximums over there so yeah I'd say not too bad I mean heard some bad reviews about this uh, water block or uh, opinions but they seem to be fine to me um, I'll come back to you with the GPU water blocks uh, uh, my second uh, GTX 670 took a crap so um, yeah the SLI upgrade was put to shit um, arming the second GTX 670 uh, my power supply was uh, pretty low so uh, I'll be upgrading that too and uh, waiting for that RMA to come back and we'll get some temp tests for the GPUs as well but yeah uh, this is my review of the Bits Power Summit EF water block and installation. So uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos of this build.